I have learned a lot about smart rings and my health in the last four weeks of testing the Ultra Human Ring Air. It's been a learning adventure on what this tiny ring can do, from choosing the correct ring size to the setup process. And I have some first-hand observations about what the Ring Air can do. And at the end, I might even have a bold take. So if you're into health and fitness like I am, then you need to watch this video. Let's go. So this is the Ultra Human Ring Air. The smallest and most lightweight smart ring on the market today, as of 2024. And inside the smart ring, it houses a tiny battery and a few basic sensors, which includes a body temperature sensor, a six axis motion sensor, and a PPG sensor for your heart rate monitor. And it also includes Bluetooth. And that Bluetooth connects to your phone to relay tracking information back to the Ring Air app. So what does the Ultra Human Ring Air track? Well, it tracks calories, steps, workouts, heart rate, stress, sleep, and body temperature. So what exactly is included with the Ultra Human Ring Air? Well, of course, you get the star of the show, and that's the smart ring. This is the Ultra Human Ring Air in raw titanium, and I chose a size 10. Perfect. So the current price for the Ring Air is $349. However, we're gonna have a 20% discount for Black Friday, and that 20% discount code will be listed below which brings the price down to $280, and that's a total in $70 in savings. So the Ring Air includes a quick start guide and charging instructions, a very detailed user manual. It also includes a USB Type-C cable and the charging dock. And make sure to line up the flat part with the bottom of the ring. And then connect the charging cable to the dock and then plug in the other side to a USB connection. And you also get four Ultra Human stickers. So this is everything you get with the Ultra Human Ring Air. And before you start using the Ring Air, you want to fully charge it. So what really impresses me about a smart ring is that you put the ring on and you kind of forget about it. You just go about with your daily activities and you don't even notice it's there. And it's so small and lightweight, I even forget it's on my finger. And you can wear these rings formal or informal casual, even at the beach, and yes, this is waterproof up to 100 meters. And that means you can wear this in the shower, go swimming or scuba diving. And you could also wear this when you're hiking, running, doing yoga, meditation, and the possibilities are pretty much endless. So when should you not wear the smart ring? Well, definitely not during weightlifting or any sport that requires a hand racket activity like tennis, ping pong, golf, even Frisbee, because this smart ring could get in the way and it could get damaged. So when you decide to buy the Ring Air, it's very important to use their sizing kit and they send you one for free. Here's the box. And inside the box, there's five samples of five different styles. I chose raw titanium. And here you have the ring sizing kit, which is five through 14. There are no half sizes. So I had to wear different sizes to make sure it was snug enough so it wouldn't slip off but not too tight to be annoying. And I chose a size 10. So one thing to note, to get the best readings on this ring, you should wear it on your index finger. And you'll see right here, there is a flat portion where the sensors are. This should be under the palm of your hand, like so. And once again, this will give you the best chance for the best readings. And like I said before, the Ring Air is the smallest and lightest smart ring on the market. And you can see, the Ultra Human Ring Air is only slightly bigger than my wedding ring. The only observable difference is the thickness of the ring. And the Ring Air weighs 2.4 grams and is 8.1 millimeters thick, but that all depends on the size of your ring because a bigger ring would be heavier and larger. As far as the thickness is 2.4 millimeters thick. And when it comes to battery life, they claim four to six days on a full charge. However, on day five, I noticed that my ring went into power saving mode. So at that point, I just put it on the charging dock. Now it takes between two to three hours to get a full charge on an empty battery. But with four to six days of battery life, you can pretty much wear the Ring Air for about a week. And that's pretty convenient. As far as the Ultra Human Ring app goes, it's very simple to set up. Once you download the app, it automatically finds your ring and connects. There is no complicated setup process it's pretty much automatic. So if you're not tech savvy, this is pretty much a no-brainer. 
so let's talk about the accuracy of the ring air. I did find it to be pretty decent, but not great. There are some times when it's very accurate, and then sometimes not so much. For instance, the sleep monitor is very accurate. The air rings monitoring of when I went to bed and when I woke up, it was right on point. It also provides a plethora of sleep monitoring stats, including sleep efficiency, your sleeping temperature, your restfulness, your sleep total, your HR drop, your sleep timing, and your sleep restoration time. And these sleep metrics provide a wealth of information, including your REM sleep, light sleep, deep sleep, and times that you were awake. And with all these sleep factors, the Air Ring app will give you a sleep number. And the whole idea is to improve your number every night. And by improving these numbers, it means you got a better sleep. So once again, the sleep monitor is very accurate. However, when it came to the step counting, it was definitely less accurate. And I've used the traditional wrist monitors, and I compared it to the Ring Air, and it was slightly off. And I tracked my steps at work for an entire eight hour shift. And the Ring Air showed around 8,000 steps, while the wrist monitor showed around 9,000 steps. But the rest of the monitor features seemed to work well, like the heart rate monitor, the temperature monitor, the stress monitor. So when it comes to overall accuracy, the Ring Air is not great, but it's not bad. I say it's about average. And the app has some pretty cool features when it comes to stress, blue light, and caffeine consumption. You'll get some notifications when not to drink caffeine and when to avoid blue light. Pretty cool. So now let's talk about the price. The Ring Air is currently priced at $349, and that's about on par with other rings of this type. As a matter of fact, there are some rings that are more expensive. But what's really great about the Ring Air is there is no subscription to use this. You pay for the ring, and that's it. Unlike the Aura Ring, you'll have to pay $6 to use their app, and that's $72 a year. So Ring Air has a huge advantage over the Aura Ring. And once again, the Ring Air is smaller and lighter than the Aura Smart Ring. So is the Ring Air worth $349? Well, if you want a Smart Ring that's lightweight, small, has no subscription model, and a solid battery life, then yes, absolutely. It all depends upon your needs, and in my opinion, the Ring Air is more of a lifestyle tracker than a fitness tracker. If Ring Air can get the accuracy better, then it would be a great fitness tracker. But as far as I'm concerned, this is a health and lifestyle tracker. And to be honest, I weight lift five to six days a week and I cannot use this ring for my workout because this ring will get in the way and could get damaged. That being said, the Ring Air is a very good smart ring with solid features and performance. And the Ring Air product link will be listed below. And there'll be a 20% discount on this ring for Black Friday, so keep an eye out. And if you're watching this video after Black Friday, keep an eye out for sales in the future. And with that, I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.